Well, consider the following example. Um, we're going to determine the angle between two vectors. Two given vectors and we solve for the angle between them. So take, for instance, the vectors 0, 2 and 2, 2 in R2. So it's a very easy, small example. 0, 2 and the vector 2, 2. So first we make a sketch, then you immediately see if you sketch the x, y. So here we have the vector 2, 2 and the vector 0. 2, 0 actually. We should turn the axis around. Okay. Anyways, this is the angle phi. Observe that we already see that phi should be equal to 45 degrees or pi divided by 4. Yeah, since 2, 2 splits the 90 degrees exactly in two halves. So now we use the formula. Well, the cosinus phi between two, the vectors of phi between these vectors equals the inner product of two, those two vectors, 2, 0, divided by the length of 2, 2, and divided by the length of 2, 0. So this equals in the numerator we get 4, in the numerator we get the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is the length of 2, 2, times the square root of 2 squared, which is the length of 2, 0, which is of course 2, which makes uh, half times the square root of 2. So the phi, the accompanying phi between 0 and pi is of course pi divided by 4. A definition, since we have the notion, we have defined the notion of an angle between vectors and Rn. So here we should be more careful and write Rn. These vectors are called perpendicular or orthogonal if the angle between the cosinus of these, uh, uh, the cosinus or uh, uh, of this phi equals to zero e equals zero or a times b is zero. Yeah, so the inner product should be zero. Yeah, so this would refer to an angle between the vectors in R n equal to a half pi. Yeah, so the cosinus of the angle between a and b is zero or phi equals the angle between a and b is equal to pi over 2. So now we may generalize the three Pythagoras theorem in the Rn. So what does Pythagoras say? Well, if we have two vectors and a is orthogonal to B, this is usually written as follows, then the length of A plus B equals the length of A squared plus B squared, the length of B squared. Well, proof is easy now. So the length of a plus b squared yeah, what we've seen before is the length of a squared. Yeah, if you work this out using the inner product of a plus b with a plus b, then you get the following is the length of a squared plus 2 times the inner product of a with b plus b squared 
with the length of b squared. And I use the fact that a is orthogonal to b, or the inner product is zero. Then, of course, this term here is gone. And we are left with the length of a squared plus the length of b squared.